Okay, so my goal today is to clean the bathroom. Like, I can't believe I'm even showing you this because it's so bad. Like, I don't know why I have all of these empty toilet paper rolls going on here, but I have a bunch of products out. It's just a complete mess. The toilet looks stained and disgusting. Honestly, the bathroom looks disgusting. Like, here's from the outside. So it looks really bad. The towels all gross. Ugh. The tub. Everything needs to just be deep cleaned because this is just not good. So the plan is to clean this all up. I don't really know where I'm gonna begin it. I think I'm gonna start down here which even down here is a complete mess. Like, I don't know what's going on. So my plan is start down here. That way I can bring more of the products up here, down into here. Like, the drawers are just like a mess. Just like a mess. There's like hair dye all over the cupboard so yeah and I don't know why there's peanut butter in here too and actually I do know why uh, my son just brought that from his room and put it there <laughs> but still this is not the place for it so the job today is to just get this nice and clean okay so I'm so happy I'm doing this because I literally found in here this kit and I completely forgot I had this and I also have oh. okay that like literally just landed on my head I also found this Dove's men's kit for my son which I do have more of those also I buy them on boxing day because it's way better deal and then I forgot I had all of this winter candy cream. And honestly, this is the best creams ever. So there's just like little hidden surprises that I forgot about. Like this I purchased on Boxing Day. And what is it? So it's bath salts, body butter, and body scrub. And so it's like, while going through all this stuff, I'm actually like getting excited and happy because even I have this too. So it's, it's kind of fun when you clean a space and you find things like that you forgot about. Like for example, even this comb would so come in handy. I've been needing to use this so many times and I couldn't find it. I'm running out of toothpaste, so it's good to know I have one more left out of the five. Holy only one left so I re really ran through the toothpaste holy but it's just it it's it's exciting it's like finding little gifts so yeah I'm happy I'm doing this now it makes it more exciting and yeah we're gonna get it all good so I got all of these bath balls so I was thinking I could put them all into this vase because it is plastic so if it was to fall off the countertop or anything it wouldn't break which I have to be mindful of because of my son so I'm thinking I'm gonna do that but the inside here is pretty deep so I'm gonna just fill it up with um, huh, bubble wrap or whatever I've got and then put all the balls in there and I just think it'd be cuter because I keep them in my drawer but the thing is look they're all still packaged none of them are being used so I might as well just make myself a little cute little vase filled with bath balls and maybe I'll put in a few face masks and then we'll, me and my son will use it more. So I just like filled it up with, had these styrofoam tubes, I just put some of those in there. <laughs> then I had like these bags filled with air and then bubble wrap. So we'll just put that like that. And then we'll just place the balls on top and hopefully this comes out pretty cute. Okay, so this is how it turned out and I absolutely love it. 
And it honestly took me, I would say three minutes to do this. And I'm so stoked because not only does it look so cute, it smells so good. So I'm hoping that's gonna even make the bathroom smell nice. And they're all still wrapped, which is great. And my son, he's just gonna love this because my son loves taking baths as it is. So when he sees this, he's gonna be like, oh my gosh, mom, I love this. So if you do have kids, I really suggest you get some bath balls, especially if it's hard to get them in the tub because these will motivate them and they smell good, they look good. And honestly, I'm just really happy I came up with this because I had this vase just chilling in my house for the longest time with nothing in it. And I don't know, I was just cleaning the bathroom and it just came to me like, put these bath balls in something because you're never gonna use them. You're gonna put them back under the sink and they're just gonna sit there. So hopefully these get used and it makes me actually excited because I, I kind of want to go buy more, which is like a good thing yet a bad thing because I'm spending more money. But there, this is just so cute. And it's also kind of giving me like Easter vibes. So I guess like during the season too, you could change it, you could get like near Christmas all red bath balls with like some white and green and near Easter you can do this color or you can just do like any color you want like what I'm doing right now I'm just using what I have and these ones are what are they called eclipsis mint <laughs> eclipsis mint oh my god and these ones these pink ones are rose water and ivy I don't know what these ones are. Actually, let me take a look. They're from Tilly. So they're from Tilly. Mm. Orange Blossom, Vanilla, and Jasmine. So that's what's all in there right now, I believe. Yep. So we got some Rose Water and Ivy. Orange Blossom, Vanilla, and Jasmine, and Eclip... Ugh, I can't say this word. Eclipsis Mint. So those ones are better for like when you don't feel well, is when I would use these ones. And then the rest are just all for whatever. But I'm definitely going to use these just when me and my son aren't feeling good. Or I just want to be more relaxed or whatever. But honestly, this looks great, and it looks like it's completely full. But it definitely is not. <laughs> I wish it was though. But this is it. Hope you guys like this idea. And I hope you do something like this. And if you do, comment below and take me in a photo on my Instagram. Because I would love to see. Okay, so I got these drawers cleaned out. And I found these masks that I totally forgot I had. Because my bathroom literally was such a mess I just didn't even remember what was in here this drawer is all organized and this is a really good idea because my drawers here are metal I got this is for a locker like a kids locker but I use it for my nail clippers and the pimple poppers and all that grimy stuff and then you can get this from Dollar Tree and it's magnet on the back so I just filled it up with all my ponytails and then it just sticks right on here and I'm also gonna buy another one of these for um, all of my bobby pins as well this here this is just filled up with a bunch of my junk stuff honestly I know everything what's in here so that's good but so it is more organized and it's just all my junk stuff and then I got my crest white strips so I got under here pretty organized as well and it looks way better so oh that's in the way but this is coming along this is also another junk basket it's got like creams and razors and um, ponytails and facial products things like that so it is looking good here so far. I do put my clips on these little handles. You, you can do that and it's just a little trick if you want. And then on here, 
I got this from um, Dollarama. It's a blow dryer holder. So I do have my blow dryer in there, but I also have like, I hang other things off of it, like all of these headbands and then um, my sponge. So the bathroom is definitely coming along and so far I'm really happy with it because I've been finding a lot of things that I forgot that I even had. So it's been really working out. Okay, so I'm almost done. I just wanted to show it before I put the shower curtain on because I love what it looks like without a shower curtain. So one day I hope I have a shower that's just like a glass um, frame instead of a curtain because oh my gosh, I love this. And it, it's really coming along, it's looking really good. Okay, so I'm finally done the bathroom and I'm so happy with it. It looks so good and it smells so much better here's the bath balls so this is all organized now the sink looks so good so clean and I put nothing on this side because my son wanted nothing to be there. And this container here is my son's stuff. Usually in this glass bowl, I keep Q-tips. And then this container here is my son's. And then I do mine in beige, so this one is mine which I love. Actually, I'm just gonna show this. If you don't have a Vanity Planet um, facial brush, you definitely should get one, because it's amazing. Also, this stuff is amazing, this hair mask. But I have a lot of body scrubs that I found today, a lot of hair masks, a lot of facial masks, so I definitely need to start pampering myself more because I definitely have a lot of products to be able to do that. But all in all, I'm very, very happy with it. Also, just another technique that you can do is I got this thing from Dollar Rama. It was about $3. So I ended up putting it on a hanger because it doesn't hang well without the hanger, so it hangs better with a hanger. You just put a hanger, and then it holds way more weight if you do that as well. Because when I was trying to put this on the nozzle over there, it just gets in the way of this, and it's just way too annoying. Okay, so I also put these little froggies down because I've been slipping and sliding in the tub, and I don't want to break a hip. So this is a very good idea, and you can get that from Dollar Tree. Also, I treated myself to this since I was cleaning the bathroom today. I treated myself to a new hairbrush because I do comb my hair in the shower because I have really curly hair and it makes everything easier. This basket, I keep all of our cloths in. I keep towels down here. But yes, overall for such a small space, and with having so much products, I think I did a really good job. I do just need to um, get some of the products I go pick up. I gotta go pick up some Q-tips for that. And I might get another container of this for bobby pins or something. Just a little few extra things I wanna get. Nothing big to take up space. But look at that, it's just nice and clean. The toilet is clean, it's no longer stained. So yeah, that's everything. But I just wanna say like, for real, just do your shopping at Dollar Tree for the most part. Like even these beautiful pictures are all from Dollar Tree, Dollarama, even these I think are from Dollar Tree, so. Dollar Tree has good stuff, and it's cheap. Alright, well, thank you for watching, and 
I hope you guys think I did a good job. I know there's still more to do, like I could fix some of that stuff and I do need to get another mirror, my, a mirror on there because my mirror broke. But for the most part, this is a good start for getting the house organized how I want it. All right, thank you. So in that last clip, I noticed I was qu pretty quick at showing this, but this hair mask is from Bath and Body Works. But I'm telling you, get this hair mask. It is amazing. It's called the Shine Hair Mask, and it's just called Hair Mask. <laughs> but this is so good. It's got vitamin E in it and hibiscus in it. So it's really, really good. And then also, I had said these were from Dollar Tree or Dollarama, I can't remember, but they're actually from Ikea. And these are amazing. I love them because I've had them now for a year and only the one fell off and I just put it back and it was all good to go. It didn't break. Okay, again, get this stuff. It's so good. It's so worth it. I actually ended up adding this in here. I know my son wanted me to keep this spot more clear, but I'm gonna just have to explain to him for now I need this because I put in this box all of my creams that I use in the morning and at night. So I just thought this would be a great way to keep it organized because I like to keep things on the counter like this just because when you want to put cream on your face every day to open this up every single day and then close it put it back sometimes it just gets annoying when you're reaching in and then your hand can get snagged i mean i guess i could move some of this but i just find it so much easier when it's right here so I, if i explain to him i'm gonna keep it clean hopefully then he won't be so annoyed by it so i'm gonna ask him in the morning and see what he says because I do share this space with him and basically it is all my stuff so I do want him to like it. I did go ahead and redo this again because I put in their styrofoam instead just to make it a little more raised higher so I think it still looks cute. I kind of did like the other way a little bit more before but I don't have the patience to redo it again so I'm just gonna leave it for now. That's my dog Duke. Duke! Duke! Hi. Hi, Duke. Hi, Duke. Oh, hi, Duke. He's so sweet. He's well, so I added this because I got this for my birthday, I think it was. So I added that too. And I love this case. It's so cute. So I just put my basket like that way instead. And then I added that for my son. This is like chocolate um, body washes I haven't used. But that's my dogs going crazy. But yeah, so I'm just adding a bit of things just because you have to add a little bit of things just to, I don't know. <laughs> I just have to add a little bit more things. I literally keep coming back in here and just looking at like how clean my tub is. It's just like glistening. So is the toilet. I'm just so happy with it. And I'm, I don't know, I just think I'm really proud of myself because I really worked hard today. And I just want to say, if you are going to do a deep clean like this, don't do it on a really busy day because this took me hours. I mean hours. But I'm really happy with it and I even put up a new shower curtain. So now I'm finally going to go enjoy it, have a nice hot shower, and call it a day.